Good Friday on the Texas Range. What if Jesus' disciples were cowpokes today and Fort Worth was Jerusalem? On that lonesome day that he was hung, what would have become of them? After Joe buried him, would they head back to the bunkhouse for their nightly campfire? These old cowpokes called to lasso folks in the hopes of lifting souls higher. From the herds of his believers, he'd cull these fallen men to be living proof of his mercy and grace for those all tied up in sin. He said if they rode behind him, one day they would lead, and if they lost their life, they would find it on the trail of a true believer. They'd stand around the dancing flames, staring into the fire, knowing Judd had framed him so that mob would hang him and make him wear a crown of barbed wire. They'd pass around beef jerky, no smoked fish like biblical times, eat hardtack instead of unleavened bread, drink whiskey instead of wine. The trail boss had taught them life lessons through tales. It was time to put them to the test. These cowpokes learned a new brand of justice called the Christian Code of the West. They learned to be right neighborly to folks with different colored skin and turn the other cheek in a barroom fight. They knew they could win. If one calf strayed, the Lord would leave the herd to find him and bring him back. And if a young buck left his hacienda and wound up slopping hogs, if he got back on track, the father would throw a big barbecue to celebrate his return. Forgiveness wasn't something them cowpokes had to earn. Like the disciples, they'd fall asleep during their duty watch. He knew they would doubt. He knew they would fight. But he knew he would pay their cost. They wouldn't know that in three days they'd see their trail boss again, standing on a hilltop, living light and love without end. When you see God's truth, you come to know that some things never change. And the disciples could be dusty cowpokes today on a Texas range.